different. I want to make this one a tiny bit different. So we're going to start with the, with the moon, obviously. Start off with the moon. And then you take it off the white. To blend it in, use your metallic colors, a newspaper, just little touches, just light, light, light. You don't have to press too hard, just a light touch. Right. And blend this in. This isn't going to work. Okay, so with white, from white at the top, just keep on adding a texture, so you, add, so you get a texture that you like, you keep on touching, little touches, little touches, let's even add some blue, some blue, some purple. So little touches, little touches. Alright, there we go, we got it. Put the bottom. Put it in the bottom. Alright, then we need the flame. You dry it. Whoops. So here we have our our moon. Right. Right in the center here. All right, for the sky, purple. Okay, for this part, just add uh, purple and pink and just spray all around, spray around, spray around. Okay, then blue and purple, just all around. Give it some color. Some more blue. Add some pink around your moon as a little decoration. Then some white. Add some stars if you want. And then let's reveal what happened. And then that is your moon for this painting. Then you're gonna add the water. So, so there's some purple in like the right side of the painting. So add some pink. And then for this one, I didn't use the poster board. I just used my fingers. So use your fingers. So you get a nice water. And then try to dry it off. And then you're going to be adding some rocks. Okay, so next we're going to add some rocks. Add some color, add some blue, add some purple, little brushes of purple to get some depth in it to make it a little bit darker. Okay. So if you mess up, you can always fix the water. So just keep on going back to it. Sticking a little bit. Alright, so I decided that was like a little too like pinkish. So I added some more dark purple. Hopefully that will like darken it up. Which it did a little bit. So I like that. Next I decided to fix up the water. Just brush from side to side. And then we have to add another island on oh wait no we are going to add the waterfall next so a little bit of metallic a little bit of white 
Then we're going to add like the huge waterfall underneath the moon. Just off in the distance. Fix up your waterfall however you like. You don't have to make it perfect, but just, just the way you like it. Then we're going to add a huge waterfall on these rocks. I like my waterfalls to go all the way down. So just add some splash. Add some splash there. Fix up the water a bit. And then we're going to add some little bit of land here, some dark purple, some white. Just add some texture, some rocks. And then I decided I want to add some more volume, so more black. Just go over that. Fix out the water. Okay, next we're going to add some trees. Okay, when you're adding these trees, just go straight up. And just create some little branches on the side. Some little tiny branches. Not a lot, because we're going to cover them up with the fan brush. But just a little tiny branches on each side. So other ones on top of this one. So just up, up, up. And then just a little bit to the side, a little bit to the side, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Do you, th do you think you got it? Okay, and then with our fan brush, we're gonna start off with purple. So purple is gonna be like our dark color. I like starting off with like a dark color, just to show like some shadow first. So some purple around. Okay, then some pink, some berry pink on top. And a little bit in the middle. You can add some grass. Next is blue. Just on the right side of your fan brush, this will be like our shadow. So a little bit, I'm just adding like a little tiny bit. Okay, then with white, you wanna add a little bit, but on the, like where the light's hitting the leaves, you wanna add it there. So on the right side for the left side, and for the left side on the right side of the trees. So just add where you think that the light's hitting, especially on your grass. Okay, next we're gonna add like a huge like rock island there so we can add our two big trees. Okay, so next we're gonna add our two large trees. Just add strands of purple going up and just scrape up on with your palette knife. I didn't like the first time that it happened, so I think I went over it again. Yeah. So if you don't like it, just go over it again, and then you'll get a different color. Or more defined colors. So I got a bit more white there. I like that. So next you add your branches. Just add branches randomly wherever you want. They could be wherever. Just try to make them look natural. Don't try to rush them, but just don't be too slow. But add like little twigs, add branches coming off from branches, them coming off from the trunk. All right, so here I'm adding the roots. All I do is I kind of just like squiggle, grab like a piece of index card and just kind of squiggle my way away my way away from the trunk. And then you want to scratch where you think like the root is getting hit by the light. This doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be covering it with grass. All right, so next is the grass. Just up and down, up and down, up and down. There's some random motion, diagonal. To add a second layer, metallic color. And then same thing again.
and there we go. All right, so after we made our branches, we're gonna add the leaves. So I added blue in the original one. So we're gonna we're gonna keep to the color scheme. So just add blue to wherever the branches end. You can add a little bit in the middle, but not too much, because that's right now where your branches end. So just a little bit in the clumps. Add some light blue. Add some contrast like a light side to all the leaves. So just on the very tops, try to get in the very tops of it. Okay, then finally some white to add for the light. So just try to do your best in adding a little bit of white so it stands out. Add it on the grass here. Dry everything out. Okay, I just found a skin color, like I did a sand type of color, and I'm just drawing her little arms and her head. This is gonna be like a backside view, so like we won't do the face, but I'm adding some pink at, for her dress. So just that just goes all the way down to her legs and kind of just like fades off as if like winds kind of there. So added that. I'm adding the outline of her wings. Adding a little bit of a design in it so that shows up. Same thing on the other side. Add some black for the hair. So just straight down. Don't make it perfectly straight, but like wavy, like natural looking hair. So like that's going off in the distance, being blown by the wind. Like there's each an individual strand. Okay, next. We're, this is a metallic color. I'm sorry to talk through everything, but I have to make the video shorter. Okay, so just grab a metallic color and just go over the wings. And then that should give it like a transparency. So I redid the hair, then I'm adding like little petals in her hair. And the fairy. And then we're going to give her... Oh, we're adding a star next. And then we're going to give her like a magical bubble she lives in. All right. And then it's going to be snowing. So just add like snow, just like you would stars. So add, so make a, a cloud stencil with like an index card and just spray, spray at the top. Then you make some clouds. And after you do that, you're good to go. Add some grass, cover her feet. And you sign it, and then we're done. Just dry it off. And then this painting is done. Voila. So this is what they look like side by side. I tried to do my best. I added a little bit of things. You know, I used to do my leaves with like a napkin. Now I didn't want the fan brush to look a little bit different, but I don't know. If she wants me to change something, I will, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.